Finally tonight, you may not recognize his name, but for generations of fans, he brought the ultimate movie villain to life. Here now, our Star Wars historian, Clayton Sendow. The moment he stepped on screen in the original Star Wars, actor David Prowse gave life to one of the most iconic villains of all time. Without saying a word. Before Darth Vader, Prowse was the monster and the hero. Crossman. Looks like you two need a lesson in crossing the road. Here, reminding kids to be safe in British TV ads. As a six foot six bodybuilder and champion weightlifter, Prowse had a physique director George Lucas needed for Star Wars. He was offered the part of Chewbacca or Darth Vader. I turned down Chewbacca at once, he said. I know that people remember villains longer than heroes. What Prowse didn't know is that George Lucas was planning to replace his thick Welsh accent. I'm tearing this ship apart piece by piece until you found those tapes. Find the passengers of this vessel. I want them alive. He was also disappointed that when Vader's helmet came off, it was a different actor underneath. But today, Lucas praised Prowse for helping Vader leap off the screen. David was up for anything and contributed to the success of what would become a memorable, tragic figure. In later years, Prowse continued to attend fan conventions, always signing, David Prowse is Darth Vader. He was 85. The portrayal of a character he always considered his is timeless. Clayton Sandell, ABC News. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.